So I have got my VFD up and working. I've made a little control panel, which you'll see in a bit, and I've wired it all in. Uh, I've put a potentiometer on there. I was going to have it switched off the beer potentiometer to, to run and stop it as well, but I've decided to put it on a separate switch so I can see, keep my speed control constant while I'm going through different processes. So we need to program it. So every, at the moment, everything's running on the control panel at the front. I need a potentiometer. Let's change all of this around, shall we? So to set the potentiometer first, we need to go to program 10, which is uh, I'll put a thing of the instructions up. Oh, wrong one. Let's try that again. Set on one at the moment. Panel potentiometer, I need to put on to two. That now should. Uh, let's press program in. One now. Right, that's worked. Next one is to set the start stop control source. We'll go to program 11. That is currently set to zero, and we need to set it to two. Beautiful, that easy. My forward reverse is already set on them. I put it to port six, which we'll show you shortly. On my panel, I've got two toggle switches and a potentiometer. The toggle switches are common off the common, funny enough. Um, the forward reverse goes on to X6 and the run stop is on X4. On the potentiometer you've got three pins, one and three are fixed so it doesn't really matter which way we put those. They go on to the 10 volt and 5 volt output and one goes to common and the centre pin which is your variable frequency bit goes to VI1. Right, now we should be able to run it off of this. Through speed control. And we can also look it into reverse. with that well that was easy <laughs> hope it helped thanks for watching